Welcome to Let's Roger That. I'm Jill. This is a quick video to uh, show you how to do drag bit engraving um, and to set up the toolpath in CarveCo Maker. So let's uh, just say that you've got your design all done and uh, and now you want to do the, you know, you want to do the toolpath because you need to set up how it actually uh, is going to carve that stuff. I see, I see my reflection there. <laughs> anyway, uh, you move over here and you see toolpath, right? Now you can either go up here and whatnot, but this is called create a profile toolpath. Usually everybody uses like V-bit carvings and whatnot, but for drag bit engraving, you need to use the profile toolpath. Okay, so click on that and this window will open. Now, what you want to do, uh, well, right, what you're trying to do is engrave these lines, right? So to engrave the lines, you need to go here, profile, and click along the lines. So now you've done that, right? Uh, now remember, you're going to have to select your vectors. So just do this. Now they're all selected, right? Uh, as you go down, you say, okay, start depth is going to be zero. And say, for example, like a, a normal depth be about uh, 20 thousandths of an inch. You know, so you can kind of do a calculation if you want it in metric. So there's two thousandths of an inch or 20 thousandths of an inch, right? So from the top of your piece, down to the bottom of the engraving, right? So start depth is the top of the piece, and then how deep you want it to go, 20 thousandths, right? So sc scroll, tab over to the next stuff. Now, at this point, you need to select your tool. Okay, so let's go in the tool selector. I've created a, a category named drag diamond. Okay, so that's my two drag or uh, spring-loaded drag diamonds, right? 90 degrees, even for alloy steel, is pretty sharp. And unless you have a really rigid setup, like, you're gonna have to go to 120, okay? So let's click the 120. Now, if these tools are not there, you can actually look at your manufacturer's tools, okay? Like in my case, these are MC Etchers, and the side in on their website, or even your invoice for that matter, you'll have the parameters at which it can function, okay? So you enter those parameters, just like I did here. I did all this manually, right? So we'll select that tool. Now that tool is selected, great. Don't worry about any of this stuff. Now just let's go and have a look at this real quick because that's pretty important. Okay, so you wanna know What's safe? How high is the safe height for your tool to go? Like a hundred thousandths of an inch is pretty good, right? So that's what I set it at. My safe Z height is a hundred thousandths of an inch. Great. Let's close that up. Actually, let's open up the material thickness. All right. So now we're in here. If you haven't set that up yet at the very beginning, you can click setup and you're like in my case i was looking I, w I was working with a piece that was half an inch thick okay this is the exact measurement here so great so from the top which is zero to the bottom of its thickness is five hundred five thousandths of an inch click okay we're good now at this point give the toolpath a name so sorry i'm going to try to type this in so we'll do a test all right and then calculate now. If there are no errors, what's gonna happen, it's gonna trace out the tool path. So let's just move this over for a second. And um, in CarveCo, if you hold your middle mouse, right, this scroll wheel, and you press it down, you can actually rotate the 3D model. All right, so let's keep rotating. Now, what we're looking at here, let me zoom in a touch. 
this is the safe height that it um, goes above the surface of the material each time it needs to move. And this is showing you the surface, this red line. And then the other red line, you can tell, is the actual depth of the engraving, which is 20 thousandths of an inch. That's the prescribed uh, depth, all right? So there you have it. So now, I can go back here. There's a, hang on, there's a little tool to go back to the original view. Check this out, click on that and it brings this back in. All right, so once you've done this, you're going to go up to Toolpath, and you wanna to save your Toolpath, right? Because that's what you're going to send to say UGS or Gerbil or whatever you're working with. All right, so in my case, I've got 120 drag diamond, yes. And I call this particular Toolpath a test, all right? And there's my cutoff to a tool path. So we'll I'm sending it somewhere here. And I'm working with a 318 Pro V, which is a pretty weak machine. So save that. It's going to say, hey, you actually want to replace it? Yeah, sure. Okay, done. So now what you need to do is you can close Carco. And yes, I want to save that stuff. Great. Okay, I used UGS, and here it is. Okay, so that's going to open up. Let's go through that together because it's worthwhile. There's no other videos out there covering this. And I, and as a beginner, it drove me completely mad. All right, so I'll click on this. So I'll connect it to the machine. Now, you want to bring that toolpath file over, right? So click open. And we were working with the 120 degree one. Okay, I'll click open and there it is. All right, so it's all there. Now in my case, all my sizing was done, placement and all this stuff. So at this point, uh, if your machine is all set up and ready to go and you've zeroed out everything, you just press this play button here and it'll actually run and, and do your thing for you. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, um, I'll try to help you as best I can, but I am not, um, you're not an expert at this thing. I just learned this on my own last night because I want to do this. So anyway, uh, good luck. Take care. Please like and subscribe and bye-bye. Uh, And there you have it. I finally diamond engraved my tools. Pretty happy. Now this one gets shipped off to Stuart to Harrow.